Hi everyone, I'm Rory Best, former Ulster, Ireland and British and Irish Lions rugby player. We're here at Kingspan today to talk about hydro-treated vegetable oil, or HVO as you'll hear it referred to. Um, we're now going to move on to Keith Scully from Grand Ireland. Keith, great to have you here. Sorry, thank um, you. I know you've been waiting, biding oh, yes. your time to <laughs> give us some loads of information. Do you want to start just with a, a bit of introduction of yourself and, and what Grand Ireland are doing? Certainly. Um, so, yeah, my name is Keith Scully. Uh, I look after all the training uh, with Grand Engineering. We are a manufacturer based down in Bor in County Offaly. Um, we would be the largest oil butter manufacturer in Ireland and the UK. Um, we don't just do boilers. Uh, we have diversified over the years into a condensing wood pellet boiler, solar thermal, uh, but in recent years, um, heat pumps and their associated heating systems. So um, no different than anybody around this table at the moment. Um, we couldn't sit still and do what we've what we've done. Um, moving towards into HVO, I suppose, as it gets more and more uh, applicable, uh, Grant Engineering will have morphed entirely into a 100% renewable company. Uh, so again, it kind of ties with culture simply everybody has to start looking at these 2030 targets and where we're going so that's uh that's where we're going very good i noticed on your website it was uh the right product for the right house do you want to sort of explain to us what that means and yeah. maybe how hvo could fit into that certainly every house is different uh, everybody is different so um if you're building a new house in the morning rory you would probably end up with a heat pump. Regulations has driven everybody that way. We're quite agnostic really as to what product a customer chooses whilst we'd like it to be a grant. Uh, we don't really mind, um, but what suits the house best um, is what's important. So new houses will have heat pumps. That makes sense because the quality of their air tightness and insulation, but the, the over 1 million between Ireland and the UK, for example, maybe over 2 million homes are being heated using kerosene. Um, to retrofit those with heat pumps is a very expensive uh, and invasive um, process. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of skilled labor. Um, and then the savings afterwards, um, well, maybe there isn't, if you know what I mean, in terms of a financial sense. Um, so in that regard, I suppose, new builds are a heat pump or a no brainer, um, but all the existing properties out there that are using boilers, uh, it makes sense for those then to start looking at using HVO because it's a very straightforward process of change over as Laura and David already outlined. Yeah, and I suppose from that switch, I'm a, a homeowner myself and I'm, you know, I hear that and I, I think you want to do everything you can for the environment, but what is the, the cost implication for that switch over? It always comes down to cost for uh, with everybody. Um, I suppose so it's not just me. It's not just you. It's not just you. Um, you're you're pretty much looking at a boiler service uh, with one extra little function, uh, but it's only a matter of just you know um, changing from from kerosene to HVO is some minor adjustments on the oil burner. The boiler itself is the same, um, ideally a condensing boiler, um, just for, for, for fuel savings immediately. Um, whilst upgrading your property is a good idea, so insulation your walls, insulation your rash, you can fit and heat and controls, there are very large government grants and incentives available for that. Uh, and then you change your tank to hold HVO instead of kerosene. Um, and the savings are immediate. The cost is possibly no more than 300 quid. All right, so it's not a very expensive process to, if you were to talk about to achieve a similar sort of level of carbon saving by using a heat pump, you could be getting over 45 grand and it could be double that. Sometimes it depends on the property and the age of it. So it's a very painless financially uh, thing to do to get to the, where you want to go with HVO. Yeah, so in, in terms of the cost, we're always looking at what it might cost the consumer, which mm. is your homeowner, but are there any cost savings? Is, is HVO, is it more efficient? Is it better on the boilers? Have you seen any difference in that? Yeah, usage? one of the major things already, I suppose, we've done, um, our, our R&D team have worked on this over the last 10 years or so. Um, you are going to see a massive reduction in carbon up to 90 percent for reduction in carbon hvo has a slightly higher calorific value which means it burns slightly hotter than kerosene but not by a lot your your benefit from changing from kerosene to hvo is the fact that you have a much greener fuel source yeah. uh, you have a fuel source that 
you can continue to use for many, many years to come. Um, and you just simply, I suppose, th that's your saving that you don't have to go and spend massive, massive amount of money in, in having to fit a heat pump. So Keith, what is that average CO2 saving look like per house? Uh, Rory, for your average three bedroom house, you're going to go from six tonnes of CO2 per annum down to 1.2 tonnes. So that's a massive reduction. Um, and that brings it back down to your own house. That's what you can do in your house for a very little outlet. And that is just about making a conscious decision to be a lot more environmentally sensitive. We, we, we can't stay going the way we're going. Society understands that, but you know, it's not for our sake, it's for those who come after us. Um, we, we, we have to start doing things at this rate, uh, and this is probably the easiest thing that somebody can do to achieve these savings with very little financial outlay. Um, Keith, earlier you talked about as a company trying to be 100% renewable and therefore 100% sustainable. What does that look like going forward right across your sector, your company? And then, I suppose, the, in particular, how HVO can help you with that? Um, well, let's go back to, I suppose, if you look at the moment, we are using no different than what Laura was, was as, as previously said, uh, all of our facilities use 100% HVO from CERTA for heating uh, and for, for our processes. All our delivery trucks use HVO. Um, so it's a case of doing what we say. It, it does, it works. Um, going forward, um, this pretty much continues uh, employment as it is uh, in grant engineering. Like we've nearly over four or 500 people working in Boran Offaly. So this guarantees our, our business model can stay the way it is. Um, I suppose it's the familiarity of it as well. One of the major things that I do in grant engineering is the training side. So we would train over a thousand uh, installers, uh, both north and south and possibly as many more in the UK as well. So it's not just a case of having a good product with a very good solution for heating uh, going forward, but the, the, the transitional uh, knowledge required we can give this very very easily as well so it's it's an overall sustainability model that it's not just the fuel it's not just the heat source but it also then is the the labor force out there and the, and the trades people within uh, the industry that they're able to maintain what they're doing and you know we can all work in the same direction i think a, a similar question to finish for you is where do you see hvo playing a role where can we get assistance because it ultimately especially with with domestic boilers there is a bit of a price pressure especially at the minute so how can we keep pushing this more environmentally sensitive and sustainable approach uh two things which david has also as previously mentioned um carbon taxation on a carbon neutral fuel is makes no sense so um we need to, especially with the cost of living at the moment, make this as painless as possible for people to transition. And if they can get to Paris, you're possibly even slightly below. That's that's very, very good. The other thing that we would love to see as well is that if you were to upgrade your existing heating system and fit a heat pump, your energy duration on your home would significantly improve. Um, Given the, the benefits and the quality of HVO, we would love to see this being reflected. So if you did upgrade your home, that your energy rating would also then uh, match that as well. And that's something we'd love to see. Okay, thank you very much. Thank very, you. Very, very insightful.